was a letter I sent to Senator Montes yesterday. It's mostly, you could possibly pass through. <clears throat> it's mostly about things that can be done in Florida. Now, don't worry, I also attended a letter I sent to George EPD, which had a much longer list, which was much more severe, starting with fines. Uh, so, um, the camp space is only the one they're building. No matter how many they built, it would not have solved this problem we just had. It's a good thing with building catch basin, but for example, in December 2018, two million of those six million gallons of catch basin would have been nothing. Um, Georgia spills over 10,000 gallons that do have to report. And all the spill reports are actually online on Georgia EPD. It's called Sewer Spill Report. And basically, uh, encourage organizations in Georgia and Florida embarrass them into it by pointing out that Florida's been doing this for years. But that's not the only reporting they need to do. As you just heard, they didn't tell Brooks County. It's not clear they ever actually officially informed Lowndes County where Valdosta is. But as far as the Georgia Department of Health, uh, they were not informed. Uh, and another thing I can give you where it spells it out in writing. They were not informed. And unfortunately, even worse, there's uh, the one thing they did do was offer free well testing. And they covered Brooks County as well because I don't know where the Brooks County person was. However, <coughs> the Georgia Department of Health does not have authority to send out health advisories, does not have authority to plant signs, does not have the authority to tell Valdosta to do either of those things. I have this in writing, I'll give it to you. So who does? They said, well, Georgia EPD, Valdosta and Georgia EPD have responsibility. Well, Austin, when asked, says, we did everything we were required to do. <coughs> what they're required to do apparently does not include um, planting signs on the Withkitchee River downstream from Sugar Creek. And not only is part of Valdosta itself on that river, but there's at least four places where people go onto the river in Miles County and people from Brooks County there come to and people fish on that river. There were no warning signs, despite being asked many times, Valdosta says, we did what we were required to do. And George 31, I'm, I've seen a lot of people from Florida using that plan. No warning signs. So I spent an hour on the phone this morning with Georgia EPD, and um, apparently they're operating, what is the term, uh, SOP, whatever, their operating principles, does not require them to do that. Not only that, it only requires them to test one place upstream, one place downstream, which in this case we're both on Sugar Creek. That also did a little more than that, they did some testing at, for example, USA 4. And once or twice they tested at Georgia 31, mostly after the EP got them to do it. Now, between USA 4 and the state line is 27 river miles. This has been a problem in Florida because, well, first of all, that first alert put out the, by the Florida Department of Health, thank you for being proactive and all, turned out not to be necessary, but nobody knew that. The second alert also turned out not to be necessary because that would have, when God also saw the spill at US 84, there was 27 river miles in between and nobody knew. Can you uh, pass some of these around make sure we get to I didn't make very many of those. The only organizations testing at Knights Ferry and Nankin in between are us and Lowndes County County did some test, which I know is, uh, I, it's great that DEP is doing this compilation of data and the augmented if we include these other data sources. Even be augmented if we can convince Lyons County to do more testing. And um, okay, what failed was the pump station on Horseman that is covered by the current consent order. The problem is the current consent order only requires testing upstream and downstream at one point each. <coughs> it doesn't require putting these signs up except all the actual creek and, and where it runs into the river. 
So can that be changed? Maybe. Um, there's several layers in EPD. The person I was talking to you can't, you know, say for sure. At least they're considering it. They did get my letter. They will uh, look into it. If there's a new consent order, these things definitely need to be in there. They need to be testing all the way down to the state line, as far as I'm concerned. Um, another issue related to this is, as you heard from the TDC, it's really difficult to advertise ecotourism on um, basically any place in the small year of base. It's not even just downstream from Valdosta, because if you Google Solani and you see Valdosta wastewater spill, I imagine that's why, for example, Columbia County and Alachua County are on the task force. So what can you do about that? One thing is, as Chris was saying, we need more testing. And yes, I understood your clarification, Senator. But we need more testing. We need it at least weekly. We need it regularly. And we need it published. Um, that's a great set of data that I finally got from DEP last night. So far as I know, we are the only organization ever to publish any of the sampling data that has been collected during this incident since December 3rd. Somebody please correct me. Tell me where we can find the Florida data online. This is a problem. I mean, I don't mind publishing it, but I don't quite understand why cannot he be do this or the Florida Department of Health or the Swanee River Water Management District has a great portal for their other sampling data. And um, DG is working on a water quality portal for the state. So far it only has South Florida data in it. Could we get this stuff in there and could we have it posted in a timely manner? Until last night, I have been told repeatedly that the DP data is only posted well, it is finally posted online, but four months after it's collected, what good is that in this situation or any other situation? So we need more frequent, more regular, and published water quality data. And with that, we can make sure people know when the rivers have tested clean, which is very important for the ecotourism to try to lift the stigma, Marilyn's word, stigma that's on all these rivers. Um, another tiny little thing I want to invite you all to, this was actually the idea of the incoming mayor of Valdosta. I don't agree with him on everything, but I like this idea. He asked for what he calls a mayor's paddle on the Withacoochee River. They scheduled this for January 18th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be going through a stretch of river that was contaminated, a stretch that includes the outfall from the Withacoochee wastewater treatment plant. So we will be testing upstream and downstream in that. And it'll be very interesting if we find any place where there's like bits of sewage still on the <laughs> side. So I'd like to invite you all to come to that. Thank you. <laughs> Senator, that's all that I have. The individuals who have signed in. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, my boy. Oh, did I miss you? Yeah, maybe. Cindy? Cindy? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do a check mark, but I'll pay for it. Okay.